Well, today is International Pronouns Day. It's all about celebrating people's multiple intersecting identities, especially within the LGBTQIA plus communities and groups. And as a Rachel and culture race and culture reporter, Candace Red is showing us using pronouns correctly is more than a sign of respect for others. For some, especially the youth, it's a lifeline. International Pronouns Day is on the third Wednesday of October each year. The campaign's official website says it seeks to make respecting, sharing, and educating about personal pronouns commonplace. Using other pronouns than the most common ones um, just shows respect for people who have chosen those different pronouns. The most commonly used pronouns are he and she, referring to a person's gender. But for some people who identify as gay, gender nonconforming, non-binary, or transgender, those pronouns may not fit. Ones that are becoming more common are they and them. Some of the other ones we hear a lot are Z and Zer. Being able to use the correct pronouns is important, especially for our LGBTQ plus youth. Transgender and non-binary youth are less likely to attempt suicide when their pronouns are respected. That's according to a 2021 study by the Trevor Project. It's a suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization in West Hollywood. The study also shows LGBTQ youth who had access to gender affirming spaces like school, home, or the web reported lower rates of attempting suicide than those who did not. If we constantly are using the incorrect pronouns on a person, that person is going to feel misgendered. That person is going to feel like this space, whether it be their school site, whether it be their workplace, is not a safe space. When you don't um, do that one small thing and you're telling that person that they the you know, their life is invalid. One thing I would tell younger people is that it's completely okay to try out different pronouns. For me, I used to use she, her, and then I tried they, them, and that felt incredibly more comfortable and validating for my identity. These pronouns are meant for you and they're meant to be a validating experience for you. And remember, some people do not use any pronouns at all and may be asked to be referred to only by name or nickname. If you're not sure how to refer to someone, don't assume, just politely ask.